you haven't been to the Polson Motor Coach Resort here on Flathead Lake, it's a phenomenal place. It's absolutely beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a beautiful day here in Polson, Montana. Right now, my coach is probably sitting in the nicest RV spot it's ever had the chance to sit in. Today, I want to give you a complete tour of Polson Motor Coach Resort. We do have a special guest today, everybody. Let me introduce you to Paul London. Hi, Andrew. <laughs> Welcome to the Polson Motor Coach Resort. You want to tell us a little bit about this site that we're standing in here? It's a pretty darn amazing site. They have done a lot of incredible stuff. They have concrete countertops, flower plantings, incredible furniture, artificial grass, natural grass, concrete stools, special tiles. They have an incredible barbecue, fire pit, kitchen, stovetop, dishwasher, you name it, they got it. They have the sails. It's just, um, it's just coming here and enjoying this incredible lifestyle. They're definitely doing it right. And actually, I've got to give a huge thanks to the owners of this site. They actually store their bus. Usually there's a beautiful Liberty coach that's sitting in this site and they actually store it right around the corner from where I live back at home. So it's a really small world and a huge thanks to them for letting me stay in this site. And real quick, before we show you the rest of the site, I got to show you guys this golf cart. And this is a totally custom golf cart. Uh, shout out to Gregory uh, over at Bay Cart. Now, this is kind of like a totally custom deal. You can see this golf cart's been stretched out a little bit. And, and if you notice the paint job on this golf cart here, it actually matches a Liberty Coach that one of my best videos, I'll put a link in the description if you want to see the Liberty Coach that matches this golf cart. But let's go back to this site here and let's talk more about this site. What kind of furniture? Do you know a little bit about like what, what are they using out here? This is just, this is stunning. Well, the chairs are made to be able to sit and relax and enjoy your lifestyle. A lot of the furniture here is O.W. Lee, which is furniture that's made in America. They just do an amazing job. They have their umbrella fabrics and they color code it for everybody that buys different furniture. And a lot of the landscaping is done by Alpine Design and Jocelyn and Mark are just amazing. They sit here, they draw it out when somebody buys a lot and they create everybody's dream. This is almost like a concrete style, like table and chairs. And then this sitting area over here with this fireplace, does this, uh, this has a, a gas where it'll turn on a, a fire, fire? It has a buried propane tank in the ground and um, it controls the fire pit. It controls their gas barbecue and their cookers. So they never run out of gas here, nice. other than wanting to sit on the chair and take a nap. All right, Paul, I've got to sit down in this chair for a second. Andrew, wake up. Oh. You sit on the chair, see you ran out of gas. I'm telling you guys, this is just too comfortable here. So let's get back to the tour here. Got this outdoor kitchen area here with a sink here. I wouldn't say this is a full kitchen, just like a half kitchen or how, how would you explain it? Well, this particular kitchen has a bigger sink. It has hot water heater, garbage disposal, lots of plugs. I believe it has dishwasher and a refrigerator and then they go up to their dining area. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a real outdoor kitchen here. And this actually is a similar design to their inside of their Liberty Coach. I think there's something like that in their Liberty Coach. Wow, so this has got full shade here with a uh, beautiful table and the floors out here. This is just incredible. So you wanna tell us a little bit about this uh, outdoor area here? Well, Again, it's another great area. They have a double drawer refrigerator freezer up here, the big sink. Again, it has a garbage disposal, water heater. It looks like their barbecue equipment that they use is Kalamazoo, which they have the burners, the grill, heating trays, a pizza oven, just locking cabinets. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty, these guys know how to do it right. True story. I mean, everything from like just the flowers here. I mean, every square inch and then the different colors of the pine trees. Everything is just so beautiful, but I'm noticing kind of way up there raised above, looks like there's some more lots up here. Paul, you want to show us around more of the resort here? I'd love to show you around.
Flathead Lake, which is the biggest freshwater lake west of the Mississippi. It's 28 miles long, 15 miles wide. We're gonna be looking at the Mission Mountains right in front of us. Paul, you wanna tell us about this lot? This is a lot that these folks bought a couple years ago and they developed it last year into their dream. And um, they've made it a pretty incredible place. These folks used to come here every year and last, or the year before last, they decided to pull the trigger and build their own piece of paradise. They've built just an incredible lot. They got the sun sails up here. They have, again, the O.W. Lee furniture with the fire pit. They got a brand new coach to enjoy that they just picked up a couple weeks ago. Beautiful coach. Yeah, Newmar uh, Mountain Air. Yeah, wow. And of course, it matches the lot. Yeah. Have a great kitchen and also have the pizza oven. And these guys did a granite countertop. They love to entertain. And again, they have just a panoramic view of the uh, Mission Mountains that's just, you can't beat. With the uh, with the lake out here. Oh, I forgot, we do have a lake. <laughs> Nicely landscaped. They have landscape lighting. They also did the buried propane tank. So the tank does their fire pit, their grills, and they can come out and enjoy their site all day long with these uh, the sun sails. I'm starting to get pretty sold on this whole resort here. I think we need to talk more about what these lots sell for, what they rent for, because I think the folks out on YouTube right now are wanting to know what they need to do to be able to come hang out here. So let's go look at some more sites and I'll ask you a couple questions about how much it cost. Everybody wants to know how much these sites rent for, how much they're for sale for. And I'm going to be honest, I've been snooping around on your website trying to learn more. How much is this stuff? Uh... Well, as far as rental goes, we rent from about during the heat of the season where we started about $89.95 for a basic standard lot. And our platinum lot is $225 a night. As far as lot sales go, we start about $94,000 is uh, a really nice standard lot. And we go all the way up to our highest lot right now is $625,000, which is just an amazing lot. For $625,000 for a lot, what will that get you? Man, it gets you everything, which is happens to be a great buy. They have much more into this lot than $625,000. but. It's two lots put together. So it, it's an amazing lot. It has everything. It's divided into a living room area, a dining room area, and then a family room area. And I think what I'm going to do first is let's look at the family room. Yeah, let's do it. Stamped concrete. It has all the lighting, great landscaping. It's got great umbrellas for shade. It's got a lot of privacy and incredible flowers. And again, this, this has been designed and planted and taken care of by Alpine Designs. Um, they have a Marathon coach on it. Um, yeah, I think I saw this coach on Marathon Mondays with Mal recently. Uh, I think he did a full tour of this coach here a couple weeks ago. So if you haven't already seen that, you can head over to Marathon's channel. Really cool coach. Let's go into the family room. It's got a great seating area. You can sit right here. You can look at your TV, watch the news, watch whatever you want to watch. Jeopardy, just come out here and enjoy. Very well done, it's got great accents. So when you're done enjoying your afternoon TV and your afternoon nap, then let's go into the kitchen and cook a meal. Nice. And if you can't cook a meal in this kitchen, you better order out. <laughs> because this kitchen has everything you can imagine. It has a full barbecue, it has a grill top, it has a, warming drawers, um, a double sink, refrigerator, ice box, ice maker, wine cooler, lots of drawers, lots of storage. So you prepare your meal here. You can sit at this incredible bar that they have incredible bar furniture. And then you can move on to this granite dining room table that has its own shade and you get to look at this amazing view. And from here, you see the Flathead Lake, the Mission Mountains. Then you see their custom waterfall feature. After you've had your amazing meal with your friends, your family, just enjoying all this paradise and beautiful views, then let's go into the living room where we can really just sit back and relax. 
And nice. Here, you have, again, an amazing sitting area, gas barbecue with amazing flowers. And again, you can just sit here, relax, and look at the views. And then if you twist around here with all the privacy and then see the backside of the kitchen. Oh, wow. So there's a backside of the kitchen over here as well. And they've got a lot of bar stools. I think you're set up to have a pretty good sized party here. And if you come here with no friends, you'll leave here with a lot of friends. <laughs> now, one of the other things I have to point out is there's a small airport right down here. I don't know if you could see it, but it basically just off here to the right, a little small airport and then Flathead Lake and just the panoramic views. But I still haven't seen a plane yet. I've been here for almost 24 hours and I haven't seen a plane yet, but uh, how often do the planes come and go? You know, we don't get a lot of air traffic. It's a county airport, a lot of private planes. It's a toy box for pilots. Some days you may not see any planes. Some days you'll see two or three planes. In September, there's an air show here that uh, you get to see a lot of the beautiful planes and vintage planes coming in. So a lot of people love the airport. And when people are buying lots, a lot of people call it, they want to kiss the runway so they can enjoy seeing all these great planes come and go. Yeah, I always enjoy seeing different aircraft come and go. I'm gonna be honest, Paul, I'm absolutely sold on this site that we're standing in here. $625,000, I'm sold, but I think it's a little bit out of my price range. You got any more sites you could show us that may be a little closer to my price range? You can always make an offer on this one. <laughs> <laughs> But I will show you some other great lots. Golf cart plug too there. I've got to point out a separate site there for your golf cart too. It's going to be hard to beat this at 625. This is this is a lot of lot. I mean, literally this is uh, how many square feet is this lot, do you know? I would say this lot is probably around 9,000 close to 10,000 square feet all all together. Nice, nice. Let's go look at something that may be a little bit more in a, a small YouTuber's budget here. So. You guys know that it's really important to me that my Sadie lady has somewhere to walk and she's taking a nap right now, but a little bit later she'll be coming back here to hang out and enjoy that beautiful view of some beautiful coaches and the lake off in the background and the mountains. I've been noticing every square inch of this resort is immaculate what do you guys do or how, how do people keep their stuff the coaches are dialed in everything from the coaches to the, the outdoor kitchen areas what do you guys do to keep everything clean here well you know what it starts with Hayes detailing does a great job washing everybody's coach they use deionized water people come in they get their coach washed we have an incredible team that can do anything from all the landscaping again is done by Alpine landscaping and they come in, they mow on Thursdays, they keep everybody's flowers pruned and uh, everything has watering systems on it. Um, our thing is, it's attention to detail here. The devil's in the detail. And uh, we're always, uh, you know, going around when I see a weed, I pick it. We have, uh, we have a cleaning crew that comes in and cleans the kitchens. Paul has been bragging all day on all the awesome folks that help out here at Polson Motor Coach Resort. And I want to introduce you to Jesse and Kim. What do you guys do here at Polson Motor Coach Resort? Well, we do a little bit of everything, honestly. Um, we take care of the exterior of the kitchens and the interior of the coaches, just kind of whatever you need done. Cool deal. And how long have you been uh, working at this resort for? We've been up here for seven years. We actually started out helping build a few of the things up here and then just kind of worked into maintaining them and helping out the people up here. Someone's going to come here and be staying on site. They can call your business through the office to have the inside of their motor coach cleaned or their patio if they're an owner here at yeah, Motor Coach, huh? Absolutely. Yeah. And I have to say, you have a very good view while working here, yeah. so. Hard day at the office. No rough. <laughs> they, they put them away in the winter time. The furniture gets taken away. Um, there's winter covers put on everything. So anything that you need done from oil changes to windshield fix, RV repairs, engine repairs, tire repairs, everything can be done uh, either here on site or pretty close by. We're stopping by here and uh, just happened to run into one of the owners here. This is Bob Pogue and there's a great story about Bob and Amy. They, they came in here about six years ago and they came in to rent a site and they parked their coach on this site and within 45 minutes they owned it. 
Is that a true story, Bob? Almost. <laughs> it may have taken a day more to wire we, the money. <laughs> we, we, we had rented the spot for two nights and uh, had never been here before. And uh, I was talking to Paul and I said, you know, if I could have picked any spot in the park to have stayed on, this would have been my first choice. And Paul said, well, it's interesting that you would say that because the owners just this week decided that they wanted to put the lot up for sale. I talked to Amy, my wife, about it, and that night, and then the next morning, we made an offer and, and bought the lot. Wow. And since they've owned the lot, they have made it their own piece of paradise. I mean, they built all this out. They Again, where we talk about the furniture, they have the furniture, they have the gas fire pit. He comes out here and just sits here and enjoys and just lives the dream. And I like the shade structures, too. That's really, really unique. Yeah, th those are... Uh, critical up here because we get a lot of sun and uh, you need some shade from time to time. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and just a, a call out, the gentleman that built these shades is Dave Mercer and he's a local guy that's a welder that's an amazing guy and he he can build these things so if, uh, if somebody ends up buying a lot and they want to do something like this where we showed you the shade structures and these retractable awnings, uh, Dave's your guy. Bob, do you have any words of advice for anyone that's thinking about renting a site or buying a site here? Well, if you haven't been to the Polson Motor Coach Resort here on Flathead Lake, it's a phenomenal place. It's absolutely beautiful. There's a lot of things to do here. So I would say if you haven't been here before, come on up and check it out. If a lot's in the rental program, it gets cleaned when somebody checks out and before somebody checks back in, the kitchen gets gone through and cleaned out. So uh, when a guest arrives, they come into a, uh, a clean environment, as we say. Does that cost go to the owner, the the cleaning fee, or how does that work? When they do their deep clean, that gets that's an amount of money that the owner pays for. When it's cleaned in between the sites, that's something that the management team that manages the uh, rental of the sites takes care of. We escort everybody to their site. We pick up garbage twice a day. Um, it's like staying in a five-star five hotel. Nice, garbage twice a day. I didn't even know that. So I, I'm usually the guy walking around with a trash bag looking for the dumpster, but that's good to know. So I've got to ask too, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly considering, you know, for one of these sites, for what you pay for it, and then you could put it back in the rental pool. It seems like a pretty good deal. You want to explain how that works a little more to us? Well, HOA fees are $140 a month, 12 months a year. It covers water, sewer, garbage, mowing the grass, taking care of the common areas and Wi-Fi. If you choose to put it in the rental pool, which you don't have to, it's a 60-40 split, 60% 60 going to the owner, 40% going to the management team. And the management team takes care of everything. We're out marketing the, the resort year round. We um, advertise it, we pay the credit card fees. We, it's a seamless system, so everybody gets a share of the rental. And um, you, you, somebody calls up, makes a reservation. We, they get in here, we escort them to their site. We take care of them like you would expect at a five-star facility. You just come here and have a good time. You put your jacks down and open your refrigerator and grab yourself a drink and have a good time. Now you're only open for six months. When are you open? Because I know you're not open in the middle of the winter up here. Yeah, we're open from April 15th to October 15th is our open season and coming here early in the spring is a pretty amazing time because the Mission Mountains are all topped with snow and it is pretty spectacular. And then the dam, we have Kerr Dam which is about seven miles from here that uh, is 12 feet higher than Niagara Falls and you come here in the spring, it's an amazing thing to see running. Those are about the dates that it's about north of 100 degrees in Arizona. so. I'm getting more and more sold now. Are there any other lots you could sold me? Because that's six twenty-five is or six fifty. What is it? Six fifty? Six twenty-five. Six twenty-five. But they're willing to take a, a fair offer. It's, I I don't want to insult them. Is there anything a little little more? Out of the, where's that ninety-five grand? Can we take a look at that site? Yeah, definitely. Let's take a look. All right. Cool. Where? Uh, it's we're, right here. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's right here. Okay. That wasn't even planned. <laughs> So, oh wow, we were literally using this site as a backdrop because I'm like, hey, let's sit somewhere and talk where we can see, have the lake in the background. And wow, here we are. So what's going on? This is a pretty amazing site. This is, um, th this site has the ability to 
build your dream. It's got a gravel pad, but it's ready to have a concrete stamping or aggregate or whatever is into your liking. You can build your patio. This one, it has the backdrop here where you can go up a little bit and build a, um, a fire pit to really enhance your view. Kind of like the, the site that I'm staying in down there. So. Exactly. Wow. And every site has 200 amp electrical service. It's, uh, it has water and sewer at the site. So you can come here, get a feel for it, and then build your dream from there. All right, guys, I may try to buy this site before I post this video live because, uh, I don't know, it might already be sold by the time this video goes up. But is there any, I'm not even kidding. This might be spoken for here. I'm doing the math here. But uh, is there anything else? Because this is going to be sold. I think I'm going to buy this one. Oh, I definitely but have some you, other things. What, you got Just, something else for the folks on YouTube? Definitely got some other lots. Don't have a lot of inventory right now, but I got some amazing lots to show you. Okay guys, RV lot shopping got so crazy that I'm going to cut this into two videos. You're going to want to make sure you subscribe so you see that next video where I may or may not have put an offer in on a lot. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks to all of you that are liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day.